Hi there, so today I'm going to work on doing a bit of a sketch of this um, it's a collaborative project that I'm working on uh, with uh, 52 local artists and what it is is each of us does a piece um, there's 52 pieces in a set and it's a card deck and each artist does um, their own piece of artwork and it can be anything um, and I've got like the nine of hearts out of that deck so yeah so that's what I'm going to do I'm going to do something a bit different because I've seen some um, artists do this already and I've seen some different interpretations there's people doing collards, digital artwork and stuff like that so uh, mine will be the usual horror type stuff but I want to make it a really good finished looking design um, but what I'll do is I'll link uh, to the project uh, there's a Facebook page and there's an Instagram page which I'll link to in the description and yeah so I'm gonna sketch something I don't know it might be the idea or something or I might change my mind later on I don't know to be honest but it'll be the usual stuff that I usually draw and it's great to be a part of this uh, collaboration I just have to get on with with this design because I think you have to hand them in by uh, the first of March I think if I'm right, I always get all dates muddled up, but anyway. So I don't particularly know what I'm going to do. I, I, I did think about doing like uh, the top half of a zombie, um, head tilted to one side, I don't know. So I'll, I'll run with that idea, and if it doesn't work, then it doesn't work. So I like drawing him, has he got a broken neck? I don't know. <laughs> I don't particularly know. So there are. I am aware that in the corner I've got to leave a gap to put the Nine of Hearts emblem. So I'll just leave that. Them little rough gaps there. So yeah, just going to work on this zombie sketch we'll see how it goes because I could change my mind like I said earlier on. you know just do different ideas and different things just like I said other eyes are doing different pieces and that's so uh, um, so I'm glad in a way that it isn't like um, themed in some way or something because I don't know if I would have been able to do it if it wasn't like you know just like drawing your own piece of whatever really I think there's going to be some kind of exhibition of it or something like that so um, that'll be good to see all the pieces um, all in one place Just uh, trying to work out a bit of clothing. Um, it's a woman zombie, I think. Just uh, get the folds of the clothes there. And I'll give her some strands of hair. Possibly, <laughs> yeah. Most of her hair's fallen out. It's real thin. With a nice little bald patch on the top of her head. Yeah. early days with this little illustration I'm not too sure about it to be honest I may come up with a better idea because it has to be your own work obviously you know you can't just uh, 
draw like, other characters that exist or anything so I thought I'd just draw something like this side of a face there dripping with blood perhaps I don't know <laughs> holding a cloth in there to show at the shoulder so I've zoomed in a bit because you can't really see stuff when I'm like uh, I'm zoomed right outwards I need to work on better lighting for these vlogs. Even though it's during the day, it's uh, sometimes it can be overcast a bit out there and a bit dull. So even though I'm next to a window, it's um, yeah. But I'll work on that. Sort of like I'll work on my airbrushing technique from yesterday. <laughs> Definitely. And put me off though, even though I did give up a bit too quick, didn't I really? But yeah, <laughs> I always come back to it. So yeah, I've got that massive hole in the flesh on the side of her head. Just about hanging off <laughs> the side of her head there, and I'll give her a sort of a bit of a chicken's neck. <laughs> That's the only way I can describe it. Lots of um, folds of skin and flesh and things. It's just about remembering where all the sort of like pencil marks are and how you can improve on them. cheeks are all rotten and ripped and gouged out and things like that so so yeah get the collar the collar that comes around there that goes around there uh, lots of blood and stuff those are details to scribble it for now because when I come to Winky I can clean it all up and there we go sort of thing get the tongue in there oh that's going to be darker in there So we're working on an idea that I may use or I may not. We shall see. We shall see. I've got plenty of time really, just over a week to finish something. And it's just one piece. And yeah, so it should be a good little piece of artwork. And it's good to be part of something like uh, local like an art thing, collaboration. So I don't really get to get out much really, so it's just good to collaborate with other artists and see what everyone comes up with really. Just 
there's a shirt, there's a shirt underneath there, something like that. So the focus is on the top half of the head anyway, so, um, well, top half of the body anyway, with the head included, that's what I meant to say. So I was just beginning to sketch some more dark areas and then I just came across an idea, I thought, what if this was uh, part zombie, part demon or something, just to make it something different, so um, I'll do like a, like a horn coming out the side of the head, you know, um, it just adds more elements to it as well, I think, and, you know, just wipe that out, and where the hair goes behind that horn, perhaps, yeah, and just work on that, and maybe some of these teeth might be a bit more spikier, but, um, yeah. Let's just make it like a different type of drawing. A zombie demon thing. <laughs> yeah, quite like that idea actually. Glad I thought of it. Probably off zombie demons. Give them, give them like uh, cat looking eyes. Yeah. It's changing the drawing now. It's uh, making it into something a bit, a bit more improved. I think that's the idea. So I'm gonna just start to ink this now. I sketched some horns there, but I'm gonna change the placement of them because there should be more on. I don't know. That one should be moved a bit further down. So I'll just change that. I'm just thinking with a uni pin, fan liner. Uh, get some decent lands in here get them thick um, eyebrows in there yeah I think this actually might be the final design I, I'll just uh, see how it goes first and then you know could change things or I could do another drawing that I'm happy with later on, I don't know. Things things are quite changeable as an artist, you just uh, come up with ideas and then a better, mo a better one might come along, um, you never know. <laughs> I'm always drawing new stuff so it's, it's a case of seeing what works. So yeah, some of these teeth I need to just create them a bit more sharply. A little tooth there. So like a zombie demon. <laughs> That's something uh, original, I think. But combining elements of zombies with demons. Fun times. I don't know what to do with the other horn on the other side as well, maybe just sketch that in. We'll see, I'll just fill in some more details of this face. So yeah, I've seen like other artists work for this uh, collaboration project and uh, it's shaping up quite well actually, so yeah, I'm just pleased to be a part of something, you know, especially local because um, I live in the city of Hull in the UK and currently 2017 is the year that Hull has become the city of culture, like um, I think it's every so often, I can't remember how many you know, 
if it's every year or something I don't know <laughs> to be honest I don't really follow it but um, so Hull became City of Culture it was named I think back in 2015 um, so there's all sorts of events going on around Hull this year um, just celebrating culture and art and history and all sorts of stuff so yeah this is just one of many projects that will probably be going on around the city yeah jolly good so yeah I did like a bite mark there it's almost like a, a demon bite mark I don't know um, yeah so and I want like a, a clawed hand maybe to be over the corner there because it's going to be like a nan of hearts um, symbol there and in the corner in the top corner as well so that's why I left a little gap there just about inking lots of details yeah fun stuff definitely won't finish this within the vlog in fact this is going to be a, a bit of a shorter vlog than normal because I'm already well into it's nearly tea time so I'll have to get on with tea and then spend time with the kids and DVD night every Saturday always don't know what we're watching got a few DVDs I haven't even watched I can't remember off the top of my head what they are There's a couple of uh, Van Damme's old um, straight to DVD classics. So yeah, some of the uh, Van Damme films. Um, they're not like the 80s classics that I remember. The later on when he uh, did loads of straight to DVD movies, but some of them could be worth watching, I suppose. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I may not watch them. I don't know. They're the only ones I can think of that I've sort of left on the on my DVD shelf <laughs> and the gathering dust but I may watch something else um, yeah we'll have to wait and see so yeah I was thinking this I'm trying to add more detail to it and lots of shadow and things and Try and make this a really good design. It'll stand out anyway, because I think each each you know artist work will just stand out on its own, and and because they're vastly different. You know, as I've said, there's some um, digital artwork, and I think there was a couple of collage ones that I saw. Um, yeah, they'll just each one will just stand out, and that's 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 why I thought. Well, doing this project it'll be a good idea so I think that's what I need to do just get on about more meet other artists and stuff and you know locally at first but just try and get out of out of the house now and again <laughs> I think that's uh, good for anyone really you know Back, you know, until it's a Saturday, people are just shouting and <laughs> I really hate this place. Yeah, well, I've still got a roof over my head for now. <laughs> and I'll say for now. <laughs> yeah, this, I think this will be the design that I want. Yeah, awesome. Can't wait to do bits more of this, and I think I'll continue this tomorrow. Um, hopefully, I'll come back and I, I would have inked all this, and maybe, um, like I said, maybe sketched uh, another horn there. But I've got to work it out against that other horn just to make sure it it looks not symmetrical but the same. 
sort of the positioning of it, you know, it might, might work out and then that other horn just move that slightly over there. And then they've got to be matching up to the end of the eye there, so it needs to be over that side. But yeah, and the clawed hand there that I want, and other like little details. Uh, it's going to be like a plaid looking checkered shirt, I think. That's the idea. Um, yeah, so yeah, I think I'll leave it there. Short vlog for today, but. Hopefully I'll come back tomorrow and I would have inked all this, done all the basic inking work and I can begin to think about colours and things like that. And I don't know whether to try and do another airbrushing, but try and get it right this time. I don't know. Or I might, I might, I might just do Liquitex inks or a bit of painting, a bit of copic marker work. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see whatever calls for the colour work. I think I'll use whichever. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers now!